Phillies are in St. Louis. It's all tied up at three in the top of the sixth inning. This pitcher just got brought into the game, and Bryce Harper is the leadoff batter. This is his very first pitch of the game. It's quite scary. Ugh, it hits Bryce right in the face. As you can see from the pitcher's reaction, I mean, he didn't mean to do it, I guess. That's his reaction, like he's as scared as everyone else watching. Hope Bryce is okay. Haven't gotten an update yet, but he does get up and walk off on his own. But look at this. You hope it hits his arm. It doesn't. It gets him straight in the face, then hits his left arm, falls to the ground. Scary moment in the game, and you hope he's okay. Uh, and everyone's kind of making the face. The catcher makes. Got some blood. He is standing up and walking out. So that's good. Pitcher like, uh, didn't mean to do that. The very next pitch he throws hits Didi Gregorius in the ribs, 95 miles per hour. You can see the pitcher have the same reaction. You can see this guy kind of smiling at it because he's a sicko. And then you can see Cabrera putting on a whole show about his hand. Doesn't have enough grip. He does the rosin. He does that. He does the dirt. I don't know, man. Two fastballs right in a row right at guys. Like his reactions say it's not on purpose. It's probably not on purpose. I don't know what. I don't know what Kutch says here. To me, it looks like let it go, bro. It looks like let it go, bro, to me, but I don't know. He shakes his head. You see Hoskins pissed off at him. He said, like, go or stop or why. The umps get together. Now they have three options here. They can do absolutely nothing about this scenario and just say those were both accidental. We'll let the game play as it is. They can eject him if they deem that they were intentional. Then they would eject the pitcher. Or they can issue warnings saying, hey, looks like this might lead to a sloppy situation where there's retaliation or there's more pitches being thrown. So we're going to issue both teams warnings so it doesn't happen again. And that's exactly what they do. Now, teams hate when they do this because now Joe Girardi says his pitchers are going to be pitching a little timid because they, if, if they accidentally hit a guy, they risk getting ejected because warnings have been issued. So that's why managers hate it when they get issued a warning when they haven't even hit anyone. So Joe's going pissed he says he says you should have thrown him out you should have ejected him and the um says now you're ejected and he says come on bullshit should have ejected him and this guy's just getting his laugh on still enjoying the hell out of it joe Girardi's gonna hit him with a wicked spin move 360 spin you think he's leaving no he's going all the way back for more with the other ump just saying you should have ejected him you know, if you have to make a decision here, inject him. Don't give us warnings. He's pissed off. And then he looks at the pitcher and he says, throw the ball over the fucking plate. And then the opposing coach says, leave our fucking pitcher alone, Joe. <laughs> and then and then Joe walks off because uh, he got ejected. And then Kutch, the next batter, hits the go-ahead RBI to take the lead. And the uh, Phillies are now in the lead, and then the Cardinals take this pitcher out. So his performance was hit by pitch, hit by pitch, gave up the lead, and he gets condolences and are you all right and five pats on the back of the head and a little shake. And that's that. That's the whole saga there. If you like baseball, subscribe to the John Boy Media Baseball channel because we got shows every single day. We got daily baseball talk. We got pros on there. We got ex-pros. We got everything.